Now Craven goes back to that, dragging his fingernails across the eyes of Jimmy Fowler. It looks like he's biting him. I can't quite see for his own head, but the referee is on top counting, on top of the action. Rick Craven on the in the black uh, suit standing up. That's Jimmy Powell on the floor. That might be the easiest way to distinguish between them. Let's go, Jimmy, says the cheering section. That uh, chance going to help Jimmy or not? Right now, he's in trouble. He's in big trouble with Rick Raven. Working on the nerves, the shoulder nerves. Referee watching. Note: the thing, of course, is to not let the man choke. That uh, shoulder nerve hole can de 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 degenerate into a chokehold very quickly and very easily. The referee has to be alert. Raven's on the mat. Powell follows up right behind him. Let's see if he tries. No, I don't think he'll try to pin him on this. He realizes Craven has not been softened up enough. He's not hes not an easy man to pin. You're going to have to whip him pretty definitely. <laughs> Off the ropes is Powell. Ooh. Got him with a... Punch high on the head just above the eye and also a knee into the stomach of a double barrel. Picks him up, body slams him. And again, Craven working a body slam on Jimmy Powell. One more time, is he gonna try it again? Apparently so. No, wait a minute. Tried one too often. Look out, he's got him, he's got him back up. Like it. Third time, he went just once too often. The old saying goes, he went to the well once too often, and Jimmy Powell was waiting there for him, and he filled his bucket all right. As he put that jackknife to him and held him, and one, two, three, that was it. Rick Cravens defeated the winner in that match of Jimmy Powell. And we'll have more wrestling coming up, fans, so stay right with us. Coming into the studio, here's a big one big man. I don't know that gentleman. Coming into the studio, here's a big one big man. I don't know that gentleman. I believe he's a manager, or is he? The Manchurian, yes, he is their manager, and I don't even have his name. Except he is a big dude, I'll say that. They're big dudes themselves. Big, very broad, very heavily built gentleman. I'll have to get his name from Nick Goulas. The Manchurian. And they will uh, be taking on in this match the combination of Bob Ward and Larry Ellis in the far side. The Manchurian there on the left of your screen and Ellis and Ward on the far side. Get ready with the bell and at the signal we will go. Bob Ward starting for his team. Bob Ward, look at that, runs right into trouble. with. Uh, I'll say Manchurian number one because it really doesn't matter. They look as much alike as two peas in a pod. Boy, they are biggies. Bob Ward in trouble. Bob's a very good wrestler from down Atlanta way. You've seen him on Atlanta wrestling, I'm sure. The Manchurian pulling hair, and the referee's warning both of them, including manager two. I don't... I haven't met the manager. He just, uh, he's a new one to me. In fact, I haven't met the Manchurian, to be honest with you. I'll say one thing, they certainly look capable of doing the job. They're both tremendous size men, very powerful looking, very heavily muscled through the shoulders and arms. Just all around uh, big fellows. Heads are shaven just for a little, little it looks like sort of an Indian um, a mohawk, uh, not quite like a mohawk scalp lock, but that's about the only. Oh, in there now is Larry Ellis. And he runs into trouble as Manchurian number, now they straight out, number two comes in. Watch this, look at that. They know how to work together as a team, I'll say that. The Manchurians. 
Larry Ellis in trouble on the ring rope. Here he goes. Ooh, right in the stomach. These guys know how to dish it out. Now they're going to swap again. Both are equally effective. One just as strong and powerful and rough and rugged as the other. Their manager has not interfered too much. He's walking around ringside over there. Hasn't actually interfered in the match except vocally. He's been saying a lot of things. Look at those arms. Look at the size of those arms on that fella. Legs too, for that matter. They just built solid all over. Again, teamwork as they work on Paul Larry Ellis. Whoa, look at that. He hung him on that elbow. First class move. Manager standing there, but he's made no move to. But the other Manchurian is. He's working on Larry Ellis. Now the ref comes back to break it up. The manager did not touch him. I was a little bit surprised because, as you know, in the past, we've had managers who would never miss an opportunity like that. Now look at that. Of course, he's got his man outside the ring to do it for him, I guess. Larry Ellis fighting back, trying to... And he gets the range, gets in a punch, takes one, gives one. Back into the rope. Swap out on the part of the Manchurians as they tag out. Ooh, boy, you can hear that one. They throw some mean punches. Did he get... The, no, he did not get the tag. I thought he tagged Bob Ward, but he couldn't get to Bob. Here they go again. Watch this combination. One hold, one hit. Ellis fighting back. He's been overwhelmed by the sheer power and size of these fellows. They have carried the fight to him. Now look at it. Now he, he would be well advised if he could get over to his partner to make a change to get to Ward in, get Bob Ward in. But he can't get over there to tag him. They will not permit him to get even started in, the, in that direction. Manager's talking to the referee, and now the referee's talking to the manager. Some of the fans over on the uh, front row are having a few words to say to the manager. Sorry, I don't know his name, but I'll try to get it. Now you can see that Ellis looks like he's in trouble. If he doesn't get a, a tag and get out of there, he's going to be maybe pinned. Because he can't take much more of that. He's a young man, but even a young fella can't snap back from too much fun. Now look at that. On the outside on the floor, look at him. And the referee is arguing with the manager. The manager's deliberately keeping the referee busy so that the...